सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर टूटोरियल्स सो गाइज टूडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ सी जी ए एंड वी एफ एक्स एडवर्टाइजिंग एनिमेशन विदाउट यूजिंग एनी थर्ड पार्टी एड ऑन एंड गाइज आफ्टर इफेक्ट सी गाइज दैट्स माई न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ मोशन ट्रैकिंग एनिमेशन गाइज आई एम नॉट यूजिंग दिस टाइम आफ्टर इफेक्ट फॉर ट्रैकिंग एंड गाइज सी दैट्स माई ब्लैंड फोर पॉइंट वन वर्जन राइट ओके सो गाइज नाउ आई शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ एनिमेशन इट्स रियली सिंपल एंड बेस्ट इट्यूर फॉर बिगिनर्स so stop and guys i create new new project check and guys select all press delete key so next one guys click on here that's my vfx and motion tracking check yes okay so guys now arrange your viewport so guys join area check and guys now click on here that's my open guys import your clip so select and import check yeah and guys next one change render setting so guys click on here render and ev render to change cycle and device gpu check and max am 25 is good for me 256 and click on here that's my film and transparent check and go to on color management and view for transfer i use standard yeah right that's my simple setting and now guys this time go to on here firstly guys click on here set frame check That's my 450 frame, right? That's my 450 frame and prefetch check. Yeah, right. Okay, so guys, next one, play. Guys, that's my video only like a perspective view, right? That's my perspective view and changing location. So guys, you can take this option, different different style of option is dependent your video clip. So that's my perspective view check and normalize check. and guys see that's my detect feature check so guys i increase this key frame actually that's my key and guys key threshold like a 0.1 and distance 80 yes and guys click on here that's my key frame yeah it's good and now guys one more time detect feature check on last and click on here so backward check yes see guys that's my keys right motion tracking okay so guys now mid one is not visible see guys that's my mid key frames is not visible correctly so guys go to our mid like a 220 and detect feature check and create here click here yes it's good right and guys again go to on 220 and detect feature check and click on here backward Okay so guys my motion tracking is finished that's my simple tracker points right and guys go to on up see guys that's my keyframe is not so good guys i create smooth framing right smooth move framing so guys go to on here solve and guys see that's my keyframe check and all check right select all and check and go to on here clean and firstly guys click on here filter track check and guys i change threshold like a 10 threshold 10 enter and guys see that's my selection and press delete key and delete track check yes see guys that's my really smooth track key right that's my really smooth tracker and guys now go to on here solve camera check okay so guys my solve camera motion is finished and see guys that my solve error it 0.41 and guys best for me so firstly guys you can hide this red boxes so simple guys alt d hide and guys now delete some edges so guys select your here clean track check and guys clean error like a 2 yeah and guys decrease 1 and guys again press delete key and delete track check yes and one more time guys solve camera option check see guys that's my solving camera percentage is take little bit time okay so guys second time my solve camera error is 0.30 it's best for me and guys now next one go to on here screen setup so guys firstly click on here set background check 
and set up track scene check. Yeah, see guys, that's my setup, right? And guys, now next one, you can select only three points for flow. So guys, select only three points like this and flow check. Yeah, and guys, see that's my size. So guys, you can change size. So this time select only two points like this and see guys, that's my size. So distance like a five is good and guys set scale check. Yeah, see guys, that's my scale size and guys, you can also change axis. So guys, that's my axis made one and go to one here. So guys, select only one point and set origin check. Yeah, that's it guys. Okay, so guys, my motion tracking is finished. That's my really simple and guys click on here. So press zero. That's my motion tracking and guys delete your cube. I don't need this cube and guys go to on here camera. So go to on here background image and opacity 100% check and play. Yes. See guys, that's my really simple motion tracking, right? It's really simple. And guys, now I change some setting on here. So guys, select your camera and go to on here location change. Guys, location change also and go to on here rotation change. So guys, axis. Guys, align on your road perspective view. Yes, and guys, select your plane and increase size like this. And guys, size Z axis like this. Guys more yeah right see guys that's my flow and play yeah it's really simple guys see that's my motion tracking and easy way okay so now guys my motion tracking is finished and now guys i apply some objects so guys go to one here file and append guys i have some boxes so guys select this candy box and collection check yeah See guys, that's my candy box and guys now go to on here and guys click on here. That's my shader. Yes, right. See guys, that's my boxes. Okay, so guys, I create falling boxes animation. So guys, rotate your box. So select and guys rotate like this, like a one actually 90 and guys also I increase size, box size. So guys select your box and press scale s and 2 that's my 2 axis and guys go to on up so guys go to on here and go to on here like this yeah that's my viewport right and guys select your box so i change this one axis like this yeah right see so that axis and guys now next one i apply this time rigid body tag so guys select your box and go to on here rigid body and that's my active so guys it's my cube box shape so use box and guys also that's my friction friction like a 0 0.8 is good for me okay so guys select a plane and guys rigid body check and this time type i use passive and friction like a one enter okay so guys play okay see guys that's not animate so guys stop go to back and Guys, select your box. So, guys, duplicate. So, press Ctrl C and V. So, press 1. And, guys, duplicate this box. So, press Ctrl C and V. Go to on here, like this. And, guys, this time I create only demo animation. Go to an up, little bit, and rotate. Rotate like this. And play. Yeah. Yes. See, guys, that's my simple animation dynamic animation and play yeah much better right okay so guys now next one i create more boxes so guys select your boxes and press one so duplicate so press ctrl c and v so go to on here like this and guys select all right and duplicate go to on here so guys select more Guys, see that's my lighting. I don't need this light. So duplicate. Go to on here. Yeah. Right. See guys, that's my animation. And guys, next one. Play. 
Yeah, really good. See guys, the ads are really cool animation. Right? It's good. Okay, so guys, now stop. So guys, this time I create more. So guys, select your plane and increase size. So select and guys, increase size like this. So guys, go to on here. So guys, select your first box and rotation change. Rotation change. So guys, select your this one and position guys, same. 90 and position change. Yes, right. See that's my option box and guys duplicate so guys click on here go to on here press one and more guys i create more boxes like this yeah like this right see that's my boxes you and guys select your first one select first box and same type of animation go to on up and rotate so rotate like this and play yes really good see guys that's my final work right that's my dynamic motion tracking effect right okay so guys all is good and now guys i increase framing so guys stop automatically 250 right see guys, that's my automatically stopped on 250 frame so guys go to back and click on here screen and go to on here that guys see that's my rigid body world and go to on down catch it and end guys my end is 450 enter and go to back so guys bake all dynamic check yes that's my baking right i create bake all dynamic check and go to on zero frame so guys play yeah see guys that's my really cool effect so guys click on here see guys that's my shader effect and again play yes really good right it's looking really good and guys stop so now guys i apply lighting and guys go to on here add and lighting sunlight so guys go to on up and change position like this guys apply lighting is dependent your shadow effect so guys rotate like this and guys i change this time lighting setting so guys select your light click on here and stand one is good and angle like a two yes actually 20 angle i like 20 and guys duplicate so guys press ctrl c and v go to on here yeah okay so guys click on here that's my sdri lighting so guys you can apply sdri environment texture is dependent on your video so guys my video is like this and strength like a 0 0.7 yes and press 0 and guys click on here render setting Render setting 256 is good, Sam. So guys, render and render image check. Yes, right. See, guys, that's my really cool motion tracking and guys animation. So guys, stop, close and guys, I change some texture setting. So guys, select your box and guys, select first box like this. So guys, here, that's my first box. So guys, metallic I like 0 0.6 and roughness I like 1. Yes. See the add some boxes and guys select all like this. Select all. Right. And go to on here object and guys apply same texture material link check. Yes. Okay. So guys that's it. My final work is finished and now let's press 0. So guys play. Yeah. That's my final work right it's looking really beautiful okay so guys stop go to on here guys i create you can change same frame rate so guys my video frame rate is 29.97 and guys output i create jpeg render sequences and create new folder enter and take any file name like one and check and guys go to on here render so go to on first frame render and render animation check okay so guys that's it my final work is finished and guys also i change only one more setting so guys close go to on here render setting and guys most important part motion blur uncheck yes guys motion blur uncheck i don't need this motion blur okay so guys check one more time all settings yeah all is good 
Yes, great. Okay, so guys, now go to on here, render and render the animation check. Okay, so guys, that's it. My work is finished. So guys, if you like my video, please share and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.